All right, chip of the day. The chip of the day is an LT1019 precision reference. Uh, this is a great part. Um, so a lot of references are really good, stable, but relative, right? There's not an absolute beginning, um, but they don't drift with temperature. So you, if you put them in, in a, uh, a fancy DVM and you calibrate, then that calibration won't, won't change. But it's very difficult to find something that starts from the get-go at a good voltage. Um, and this one has a pretty good spec on it. It has 0.05%. This is less than 0.05%. Ultra low drift, 3 ppm per C. Um, and it's available in different voltages. You can get it for 2.5, 4.5, 5, and 10 volts output. I've got a bunch that are 2.5, so I'm going to show you one of those. Um, and so, yeah, and they're super easy to use. They just require um, input, output, and ground. Uh, there's some temperature compensation you can do on them, and there's a trim if you want to really dial it in. Uh, there's a trim pin that you can put things in. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, take a look at this in a circuit. So, here is our circuit. And uh, this is kind of the old style, um, still very, very popular, but this is kind of a relative, not an absolute. This is an LM399. Uh, um, and uh, we'll be showing that in a, in a different video, but today we're going to show this one. And so I only have pins uh, input, output, and ground. Those are the only pins I have connected on the, uh, on the part. And I have 5 volts going in, and the part is, is labeled 2.5, all right? And so let's go measure it with a fancy voltmeter. All right, so... 2.50057. So let's do the math on that. Um, let's see. We have 2.50059 divided by 2.5 uh, times 100 to get percentages. And I need more decimal places here. So. Uh, let's see here. Fixed. Let's do nine decimal places. And so uh, we are looking at, anyway, I'll read it to you, 0.023% um, uh, error. 0.023%. That's pretty, pretty good. Um, and it is better than 0 0.05. So there you go. Um, they do seem to drift around a little bit. Uh, just here on the bench, uh, and that just might be because of it's a bench setup. If I soldered everything down and paid more attention to it and stuff, it might not drift as much. But um, yeah, it's 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 it hasn't drifted that much, but I mean a, a tiny bit. But uh, it is a nice chip. So if you're thinking of looking for a um, a reference and you need something that's pretty accurate, uh, this is a good one. Uh, I'm not sure how much you have to pay for one of these. All right, I knew somebody would want to know, so I did look it up here. Uh, they're eleven dollars on Mauser, so <laughs> so they're not a cheap part, right? Um, but if if you need something accurate, they're they're a good way to go. Now, if you want to set up a little poor man's um, reference um, that you can calibrate things to, if 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 point zero five percent is okay for your garage. Um, then this would be a, a this would be a fine one to uh, to add to your collection. Um, I think it's pretty rare that garages need more than 0.05%, but I don't know. I might be wrong. <laughs> My garage needs a whole bunch. <laughs>